presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We've got a lot to cover today, and Stan Harley will be our guest at the break, but let's just get to it. Here's the Dow, uh, the E-mini S&P over the last four or five days. Now, you can see we made the big ABCD pattern down there that we were waiting to see down there at 43, uh, 6, 4306. Uh, let's see, 4316. Uh, there was a number that we were waiting for right here. I don't have the longer term. Well, I do, but I want to show you this. This is what happened last night. We rallied exactly to the 382 of the high that we made back on the Monday. You can see that. Here we are Wednesday. Just made a 382. Now we're making a lower low. Really a bad sign. But there's still hope. Let me show you the hope lies. And it's, believe me, it's not much of a hope. So let's get this up here to take a look at this. This is the Dow Jones, folks. This is that number we were waiting to see. There it is, 43.674. So we're right there right now. We get below that, it's trouble in River City. And the reason why is you had the nice ABCD pattern here, and now you've got the ABCD pattern here. And there you go. You know, we're almost there. As you can see it here, that is at 33578. So we're the 100 points. We go below the 1.618 here. We're going to hit this one right here, and that's where it looks like it wants to go. The time is correct. The price is correct, but uh, the market hasn't turned yet. So, by golly, you got to pay close attention to that. There's so many things happening at one time here that we're going to look at them one at a time here. But one of the big ones, of course, is the gold. You know, we've been – we had this nice move in gold. We were looking for it to get to uh, nine, uh, 1908. And it got there, and we took a quick $3 loss in that. I said to put a stop in at, uh, you know, 06, because 06 took out those old lows, and that means that we're heading down even farther. You can see here, we have to go to the four-hour chart to get this up, and I want, this is where I wanted to, well, that was the four-hour. We must have to go to the daily. Hold on just a second here. There's where we were. Yeah, here's where we were right here. You see, we thought we were going to hold right here, folks. That's what it looked like, because you had a very nice... A, B, C, D pattern right here. And I said in the video, I said, do not be in this thing if it fits below 906. You see the old low back here? Once that took that out, bada bing, bada boom, that says we're going to go a lot lower. How much lower? Well, you're looking at this daily here. There's where it's going to go, 1887, all right? And that's basically we're at 1893. You're $6 away, probably there before the show's over. There's your A, B leg on this one. There's your CD leg on this one, and there's where she's going, right there at 887. That's what I'd be looking at right there. So anyway, uh, we had a nice move on the downside. If you remember when we got up to here, when the, the Fed was out there bouncing around at that 78% level at uh, 1967, uh, we said uh, sell it short. It was right when the Fed was out there and I don't know if you got in or not, but it had a nice move down. But the good part about the nice move down, folks, if you look at this on a smaller time, we had a lot of 382s in here to get you short. You know, there was one here and one here. Uh, I don't even didn't even see one last night because I wasn't paying too much attention. I was watching the, uh, the stock market pretty good and also the bond market. But from the high down to the low, it would have made another 382 uh, right here off of this high so another one right there so you get the couple couple rallies and boom down to the downside one of the one of the things that i'm thinking of doing and i'm going to have to run this by um tf and m let me get this up here i want to show you this is the this is the british pound that we were bearish for quite some time but folks it takes a lot of a lot of knowledge to sell in a market like this and this is this is what i'm thinking of doing is doing a two-hour show showing folks how to, how to trade strong trending markets on the downside, because we're going to see some, folks. This is just the start of it in the stocks. I mean, this is, uh, it might be the start of it and everything. I don't know, but that's what it looks like it's happening here. So I hope that makes some sense, and that's what I'm looking at. But let's take a quick look here at the daily here. 
because we've got a little bit more to go to the downside. We're sitting almost exactly at the 78% level right now. You see it's 0 0.786 here, so we need to get it down just a little bit lower. Uh, this is not drawn properly, so let's draw it in because the prices have changed. And you'll see we're almost at the 78% level. That comes in 100 points and 20 from where it's at right here. Look how it went through the 50%. That stopped it for three days. 618 just, you know, they just went through there like it didn't even exist, and it might do the same thing here. But this is where you got to take a look at it right here. That's the British pound. Now, it's not quite ready yet, but it's getting there. If we look at this closer, and that's what we're going to do right now, is we're going to go from your high down to your low. That's your AB leg right there. And you'll know what this is. That's 382 right on the money. A one, two, three, four day rally right on the money, and down you go. And that's where we're looking at right now. The other thing that you would want to be looking at is I don't know. Well, let me set the re reset defaults on this so I can see the charts better. There's what I want to see. Okay. Now, as we got this, we want to see the number of days down in the move because that's what we have happening in the stock market, folks. Number of days down in this move took 29 days. Okay. So let's see how close we are to 29 days. Oh, my goodness. That doesn't happen until at the end of our middle of October. So this thing could have a long way to go to the downside. We got to be looking at it here 100 points lower, but that's not so good. And also, since we're talking about the currency here, hold on just a second, get this up here and take a quick look at it. Here we are in the euro. Look, look, see how we went. We stopped here at the 1.618 for a heartbeat. And then look at this. See, you're, you're still moving lower. And one of the reasons is because if you look at the daily chart, which we've been looking at, you can see this big number coming in here at 104 and change. That's what our goal is, is right at 104. So that's why you're starting to see these things move to the downside. That means the dollar is strengthening, i.e. weaker gold prices. That's, you know, the basic thing. So I hope that gives you a rough idea of what we're looking at uh, today. Here's the NASDAQ. You'll see the NASDAQ has made a slightly lower low, has not broken really badly. But let's just look at it on the daily because there's a bigger number out here that we haven't hit yet in the NASDAQ. Bring it up here and you see it. That, that number in the NASDAQ is way down here, 14328. That's down to 300 points from where we are right now. That means if it gets much below this, folks, that's where it's going. You know, so you've got to be really careful. You know, and you just stop for God's sake. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's the only thing that'll keep you. That only thing that'll keep you alive in these markets, for heaven's sakes. All right, let's do something here. That I, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that my picture was right up there. Son of a gun. All right, let's get this out of the way here and window and get it all together. Tile vertical because there was one other one I covered the gold. Ah, here's the big daddy rabbit, folks. This is the one that runs the show, and we're getting ready to see it go. Hold on. There is a three drive to a bottom pattern forming as we speak. This might be a survivor of the fittest. Okay, there was the three eight. Here was your three eight two off of that one right there. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Don't need it anymore. Okay, we take it from the high down to the low, and there's your three eight two right there. We'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I started the show showing you the uh, um, chart of the high-grade bond. I probably should put it up here again because I don't know if you were here at the beginning of the show. But let's get it up here because that's the one of the key things that we're look, looking at here because this is a big deal. Let's get the uh, chart up here with the weekly because that's what we've been trying to focus on. And you'll see it here right now. There it is. Get it up here. You can see now we're breaking down. Blow it up a bit so you can see that. We have broken down yesterday's high right on that line, and this is, means we're going lower, folks. The reason why this is important, this is financing in the oil market and other smaller companies that you don't know, get small uh, financing by using junk bonds. And once this starts to go, well, this is bad for regional banks, but we already seen the chart on regional banks. Let's just look at it again. The chart on regional banks is right here. Bring this up here on the daily, I believe, so we'll see it quickly. And this is not a good sign either, as you can see here. We've been going down for quite some time now. We're breaking down even more, breaking down below. The ABCDs on this are way down here. So that tells you that these regional banks have a long way to go before they get to it. That's another 10% or so uh, to the downside. Let's get back to the bonds, because I wanted to show you something on a short-term basis. This market's been very bearish for a long time. If you remember, when we broke this level uh, right here during the Fed time, where, where was that? When it was 17-something, uh, uh, I think. Yeah, this is it right here. This is when it broke, okay? We had the rally. Look, ever since that time, we've been going down really strong. About seven days ago, folks, we've been talking about this all the time for seven days. So trading a bear market. It's quite simple. You just got to realize it's a bear market. And how do you realize it's a bear market? Hmm. Let's look at that. Hmm. Oh, it's going down. We've got lower tops and lower bottoms. That's a bear market. So what you want to be looking for is to find the ABCD patterns. There's your first one right there. Okay. And there's that one. Look, it's right to that level. Then we got another one right here. We got another one right here. And we're heading down. And if you look at this on a little bit longer time frame, you get down to the daily, and you'll move. You can say, okay, something more is out there, so you're going to go to the weekly because that's the one we've been looking at because this is where it's going, folks. It's going down here. 
to the uh, 10, uh, 10 should, have, should stop right here for a little bit, 1305, because that's a 1.27 of this whole thing. And this is a huge market. But with this, look at this weekly down move, folks. You know, we're down four handles to this week. It's telling you this market's weakening and it wants to go to 106. That's really what it says. I, I don't know. All right. Now, boy, I'm going to stick my uh, self on a limb here and talk to you about something. Okay, here's bonds, all right? We're going to go back to the weekly, and we're going to just draw this. Let's go to the monthly. That we can see the whole thing. Okay, there's where the high was up here. You see this high? Three drive to a top. You remember what they were doing to us then? They were telling us that, wow, interest rates, you're going to get negative interest rates, folks. You're going to have to give them the money, and they're not going to guarantee that they're going to give it back to you. And you have to pay them for holding the money. And I said, gee, that sounds like a really good deal. Well, guess what? You know, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, folks. And I don't know diddly squat about most of the fundamentals. When I read some of this stuff, it's so far over my head that I, I'm embarrassed to even talk about it. But I, you know, most of you guys know me. That's the way I am. And I'm never going to change. But, you know, when I see a chart, that tells me something, okay? I see something now. I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it. I see something now that's, uh-oh, what was that? Somebody's calling in probably. Hold on just a second here. Where is it? Where's the thing at here? Uh, Earl, some question about digitizing of our currencies. I don't even know how to do that, Earl. I wish I did. Uh, I, I don't even know. Oh, you mean if that has with broad, um, with a, with a broad, um, uh, yeah, that, that's probably going to happen. You can see it happening everywhere. I think you're talking about cryptocurrencies and blockchains and stuff like that. I'm sure, but I know so little about it that I can't really, I can't really talk about it. Fortunately, I could get John Jameson on the line, but he's traveling right now, so I, I, he could answer it in a heartbeat. But I can't. That's coming, because you know they're basically that's what they're going to do. They're going to they're going to take the money that we have, and it's going to be like China, where you have no money, you have a telephone. You put that in there, and they're going to control everything. They'll know exactly where you are, how much you're spending, where you're living, what you're doing. Total control, and that's what the that's what the goal of this whole thing is. And that's coming, no question about. It. Let me get back to where I am here because I've only got a couple minutes before Stan comes on. This is the tre Treasury bonds. Okay, wait, another another phone call in there. Hold on, just a second here. Hold on, what's a second here? Hold on, just a second. Hold on, just a second. What am I doing here? Ah, uh, shucks. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. Hold on. Let me, I got to try one more time. Earl, Earl's on the line. Yes, can I help you, Earl? Oh, I was the one that had the question, uh, sure. Larry, about what's going to happen to our trading account money when they turn, our, our, our bank accounts are going to CBDC, CD, CBDCs. Yeah. Is our trading account going to be transferred into no. that too? No, no, you it's know? just your, it's just a savings account. Your savings account, the bank. That that law. That uh, what was it called? I uh, can't even remember now. Oh, I, it's a big it's a big bill that Obama put in there, and that they can take money out of the account to protect ourselves against the markets and stuff. It'll be in the savings account area where the big money is, you know, because the stock money is not that much. And also the bond money should be safe, too. But uh, as far as I know, from what people have told me, they can take money out of the savings account, but they can't, they won't be taking out of brokers, but they could make a addendum to it. And that's what they're going to do. I don't know. The big thing that's going to happen, Earl, is that they're going to be taking money out of circulation. You'll see no more cash. That means the drug lords with all this billions of dollars that they have to weigh their money and stuff, that'll all be worthless. They won't be they won't be able to spend it. And that's where the real that's where the real pedal to the metal will be, because that that is coming. They're going to do it. They've already done it in China, Earl. You don't have cash yeah. in China. There's no coins yeah. and no paper. It's all done by telephone. Even the beggars have my, Sarah's there right now. Even the beggars have their own telephone. So if you want to give them yeah. something. You put the one uh, RMB, whatever it is, and they get the money. So that that's where it's going, my friend. Yeah. Well, I appreciate Earl, it. 
Earl, I appreciate you more than you can imagine because what I was going to show you, <laughs> I'm glad I, there's no time left. And I hope uh, Stan takes the whole time because uh, if he does, I won't be able to show it. I'll show it tomorrow. But I see the same thing happening in the Treasury bonds that I've seen in another market that's they're doing the same thing and says, look at me over here. See how great I am? But on the other side, they're saying, I ain't so great. I'm going to share with you tomorrow probably, okay? <clears throat> yeah. I, I've been very fortunate. I've been short uh, 20 year all the way down. I was hoping so. We have been too. We've been telling you for two years it's going lower. And now everybody says, gee, yeah. wonder why it's so weak, huh? <laughs> but who knows? Finally, after 20 years, it's like printing money. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're catching up with us. That's for sure. There's no question. Hey, Earl, we got to go yeah. for a break here. But thank you very much for calling in. I hope to hear from you again too, okay? Okay, Larry, thank you. Stay, you bet you. Stay on the green side of the grass, pal. That's what's important. We'll be right back, folks. We've got a break coming up. Stan Harvey. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We have Stan Harley in the house. Stan, how are you doing? I am doing awesome, Larry. 
Just well, awesome. You're looking, you're looking good today. I like you better without the tie, pal. You look, you look relaxed. That's the important thing. Stan, two weeks indeed. ago, two weeks ago we had you on. Well, it was actually two and a half weeks ago we had you on the, the tube here, and you said look for lower prices into October. I remember that very vividly, and uh, we have lower prices coming down. What are you looking at, my friend? Do you want to share some charts with us? Absolutely. Um, let, let's take a look at some charts, shall we? Yes, sir. Yeah. Go to full screen mode here. Um, well, I thought I'd start out with uh, looking at the monthly data. This is kind of a recap of something we've talked about in the past, and this kind of take us to where we are today. Um, okay. Uh, going back many, many years, the uh, stock market was punctuated by a cycle that spanned about about four years. Uh, mathematically, it's 49 months, and there's some Fibonacci numbers that go into defining that. Uh, but every 49 months, approximately every 49 years, we saw recurring lows in the market. And that that went on for more than 40 years, throughout the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And then something very interesting happened at the October 2002 bottom. That cycle expanded by a Fibonacci 1.618. So it didn't go away, it just expanded. So what we now have is a recurring rhythm in the market that spans about 79.6 months. You can call it 80 for round numbers. And that's been the defining rhythm for the last two years. That cycle last bottomed in October of last year. And assuming the rhythm continues, uh, why well, we should see the next low in the vicinity of May, June, 2029. Um, and here we are, of course, uh, just past the halfway point in 2023. So that's kind of the backdrop. Um, Notice in each of these cycles, on the, we've had consistent right translation, right translation, well, right translation here, here, here. Right translation, meaning the crest or the high point of the cycle, occurred to the right of the midpoint. And that is characteristic of bull market structure. It is. Now, I think uh, if we see a high next year, which is what I'm thinking, we will have left translation in this dominant 79.6 month cycle. That'll be the first time that we've seen that uh, in a very, very long time. Um, and that will mean a secular top is uh, in the rearview mirror and things are, are changing, of course. We're not there yet. Um, we still got some work to, to go before we get there. Um, let's take this down a little bit lower to, uh, to the weekly pattern. And uh, this is a chart I shared with you the last uh, couple of months, and I'm just updating it now through the present. Yep. Uh, interestingly, uh, this pattern is evident, uh, I find, only on the chart of the New York Composite. It's not evident on the chart of the Dow Industrials. It's not there on the S&P, the NASDAQ, okay. the Russell, the transports. But interestingly, it's very evident on the chart of the New York Composite, which curiously is an index that rarely you get, is shown uh, by the media or by uh, market technicians. But this cycle sprang forth from the January 2016 bottom. Uh, that's where the New York comp bottomed, the, the down the S&P actually bottomed in February that year. But the New York composite bottom there, and the 24 months later, in January of 2018, we saw a high. Uh, 24 months later, we saw a high in uh, January of 2020. Um, the down the S&P actually peaked in February, but the New York comp topped in January. Then we had another peak, of course, in January 2022. And then assuming assuming the rhythm continues unabated or without any uh, extensive expansion or contraction, we should be looking to the January 2024 time period for the next high in the cycle. Every one of these highs has been absolutely pronounced on the charts. So, Larry, that's telling me. January 2024, be alert for the potential for another major cycle high. Okay. Uh, now, as we get into that time period and things change, well, uh, I'll modify my views accordingly. But, but right now, uh, that well, uh, January 2024 high looks very, very compelling. Yeah, that's a, it's a per, and I, that it's really strange that the, that was the old knife contract we used to have in New York, and it yes. just went by the wayside with the. Dow Jones because they wouldn't advertise and the other guys did and that's what made it uh, you know go yeah, away. The knife, the knife was great. Yeah, I used to trade that yeah, a lot. The margin too. was lower than the S&P yeah. 
And no. I mean, you got the same, you got the same percentage of moves. Yeah, uh, and, and no and for no a lot lower jerky the stuff. cost. Yeah, it was great. And then yeah. for some crazy reason, it went away. I guess it just, just wasn't enough volume. Um, yeah, crazy as that sure. sounds. Um, um, now uh, the New York comp has uh, broken below its 50-week moving average. Uh, it would not surprise me when we get to the intermediate cycle bottom, which I'm expecting in about six weeks' time, um, to uh, to stab its 200-week MA. That's that red line coming uphill. And we could perhaps see a modicum amount of breach of that, but uh, I think it will generally be supportive. What, what's ongoing right now is what I call your garden variety uh, intermediate cycle decline. Yep, they've been saying that for several weeks, and you said it would be sometime in October is what you told me. I remember that yes. was... Yeah. Yes, so the latter part of yeah. October, uh, first yeah. of November. My work says October 30th to November 1st, November 2nd, right in there. With November 1st kind of shaping up as the midpoint of that three to four trading day range. Uh, this is a cycle that uh, I have tracked for years. I wrote an extensive article for it in the uh, journal for the Foundation for the Study of Cycles a couple of years ago. It is the dominant cycle on the weekly chart. I call it the primary weekly cycle. And uh, it contracts, it expands, but uh, when one plots the data, does a regression analysis of, of, the, uh, of the time series, the, uh, the peak in the histogram falls at 33, 34 weeks. Uh, 34, of course, being a Fibonacci number, that's equivalent to eight months, also a Fibonacci number. <laughs> no surprise there. Um, yep, that's and that's, sure. that's yeah. what it is. Now, sometimes this cycle is expanded by 1.382, sometimes it contracts. But what's interesting is when you get an expansion and you get a contraction, it takes it right back to its original beat. So, for example, um, during this time period where my cursor is, is highlighting, the cycle expanded to 49 weeks. The subsequent was 20 weeks. You add the 1.382 plus 0.618, you get 2.00, and then it picked up the regular heartbeat once again. That's what cycles do. They'll expand, they'll yeah. contract, but after a couple iterations, in my experience, they get back to their original heartbeat. Okay, and we, uh, assuming the pattern does not expand or contract much beyond the, uh, the statistical norms, I'm looking for the next low um, right around uh, the tail end of October, 1st of November. So we've got, what's that, about very good. You know, five about weeks five or so weeks. ago. Five weeks. Of course, we came up and down in, during that time. I, I have a question. You know, when you talk about these numbers expanding, like I look at 127, I, I only give it 1%. I, I believe in these numbers so much. If it goes beyond 1.27, I don't have anything to do with it. I get out and wait for 1.618. Do you, you do the same thing? Well, uh, good question. And here's how I answer that. Um, I don't put a fixed number out of the blue on it. What I do is I do a regression analysis of okay. the entire data that I have under study. Okay. And yeah, we got some music coming, so why don't we pick this yeah, up? Yeah, we'll on the other the, side. cover that. Yeah, that's great. That was a great question and I'll, a great answer. I mean, we'll be right back with Stan Harley, mm -hmm. folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Stan Harley, the Harley stock market letter as the market keeps moving lower and lower. Go ahead, my friend. Please continue. Absolutely. Uh, let's pick up with the, uh, with the daily charts. And, uh, and then I can answer your question that you asked me a moment ago here by, by addressing this. Uh, okay. in, the, uh, in the last few months, you and I have talked about a couple of market cycles that have dominated the, uh, the daily chart. One is 80 trading days, which, by the way, that's the same number that defines the monthly pattern. It's, there's some Fibonacci math that goes with it, but that same numeric applies not only to the monthly charts, but the daily charts as well. And that's done a pretty good job of defining all of the highs. And then uh, separately, there's a 53 trading day cycle that uh, you and I have discussed uh, in the past that also has done a dandy of a job defining the lows. Those two cycles actually are related. Um, two 80 trading day cycles um, is equivalent to three 53 trading day cycles. So if you take 80 times two, that's 160. Yep. Divide yep. by three, you get 53. So these two cycles are related by two to three or three to two, depending on what's in the numerator and the dominant denominator. Yep. Um, but uh, going back the last few years, uh, one can see um, those <laughs> cycles have been the dominant function defining the stock market. Um, going back to the left here, a low, low time period here was 53 trading days, 56, then it reverted to 80, 80, 79, 81, that's the 80, uh -huh. then back to the 53 day count here. And assuming then the last one, uh, when you and I discussed this in mid August, um, I think I was on the air with you around the 14th or so of August, I recall, I said, it was we the 14th hit the of next August. Yes, sir. 53-day uh, low here within the next couple of days, and it occurred on the 18th of August. Um, yep. And assuming the pattern continues, uh, the next recurrence is due uh, ideally uh, right around uh, the 1st of November, October 30th or so. Um, well, here I can answer the question. What I've done here in my spreadsheet is I have uh, put all the dates from the prior chart into a spreadsheet, built a model, and uh, can done what's called a regression analysis, which finds the best mathematical fit to all of the data points. And what it computes is a cycle that's 53 trading days. And then this little number right here is the answer to your question to me uh, five minutes ago. Um, 
how do we determine what kind of variance to give to a, a Fibonacci function or a cycle? Well, I look at the historical standard deviation. And that is the best thing anyone can possibly do from a mathematical perspective. The standard deviation on this cycle is historically is 2.2 trading days. So I know to look one, two, or at the extreme, three trading days. I mean, three standard okay. deviations um, to look for the next recurrence in this cycle. And uh, if it goes beyond three, then clearly the cycle is expanding or it's contracting or maybe it's just gone, gone away altogether. And cycles do that. Um, they're, they uh, have little nuances. They're a great tool, but they also have these uh, uh, little quirks that uh, we need to be mindful of. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and usually when I go on the air with you, they stop working. <laughs> now, listen, hey, Dave, time out. Time out. You've been very good, Stan. You know, you've not been, you know, well, maybe, I, you when know, this I was market turned, you said it was going time, down. I said, hey, Larry, so. <laughs> I'm showing you this 53-day cycle. If the cycle gods are tuned in to TFNN, they're going to make it go away and make me look foolish. The good part, I think they Dan, weren't tuned only, in the, last month, so, hey, we lucked uh, out. There's only, <laughs> the thing we got going for us is only 10 people uh, listening to us, and five of them are at work, so we're okay. <laughs> hey, listen. You, hey, listen. You do good, Drake. Uh, good work. So don't go. Uh, you know, I know you're joking about it, but you know, you really do good work. So you can see at this chart here, we're going to look at the Lucas series now, and this is another we one that looks real interesting. Yes. Yeah. This is a this is a busy chart, and uh, if if we get some commercial, we'll pick up after the fact. But let's let's continue now. Um, this is a chart right through the present time frame, going back to the October low of last year, and I have marked with the 53 trading day lows. Uh, as you can see on the chart, um, the next one is due right around October 30th, November 1st. Um, that's also the time period in which that 33, 34 week cycle low is due that we showed earlier in the presentation. So, oh my gosh, uh, that's putting together a very compelling case for a significant low to occur there. Now, in the near term, I think we have a low coming up around October the 6th, which is uh, the end of next week. Um, why do I say that? Well, a lot of short-term <coughs> Fibonacci, Lucas work. Um, let's take a look at the Lucas pattern here from uh, the October lows of last year. Notice this, 76 trading days from that low, 76 is the Lucas number, lined up exactly with the February 2nd high. Then if you double number 76, you get 152. That lined up within two trading days of the May 1st high. Uh, the next uh, Lucas number is 199. If you add 199 to the October 13, 2022 low, you get August 1. The Dow peaked on August 1. The S&P topped three days earlier on July 27. Mm -hmm. um, the next number in the series is 246, uh, which is two times Lucas 123, and that lines up with October 6. So I'm theorizing we're going to get a low in the vicinity of October 6th and then a subsequent low on November 1st. The next Lucas number after that is 322. And if you add 322 to uh, the October low of last year, that lines up with January 26, 2024, which happens to align with the subsequent 53-day cycle and the 24-month cycle in the New York composite that we showed back at the beginning. So you've got three uh, cycles congregating in the uh, late January 2024 time period. Um, this low to low function of 53 trading days is due at the same time. Well, you've got one saying a high, you've got one saying a low. Uh, something's going to have to invert. I think it will be this 53, low, 53 trading day low to low pattern which is, has historically marked lows, hmm. I think the next recurrence will invert and it will mark a high. And I think that high could be a very significant high in the stock market. They could last for a long time. Um, but in the near term, um, I'm looking for a low towards the end of next week. And then another low, a divergent low, I'm calling it, right around the 1st of November. Um, you'll see perhaps most stocks bottoming on October 6th, and then maybe a fewer number bottoming around November the 1st. That divergent low, I think, will mark the uh, orthodox cycle bottom. And then from there, I think we'll chug lug higher into, uh, into January. 
Well, that sure looks good. I certainly looks just absolutely mathematically as clear as it can be. We have to watch October 6th and November 1st. That's clear enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you on sometime before November 1st. I can promise you that. By the way, how do you like living in Virginia now? Um, love it a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Um, moved, I, I've liked to Virginia uh, for a long, long time. Uh, visited here back when I was in the Navy many years ago. And uh, the northern part of Virginia is just just gorgeous. Uh, yeah, that's rolling uh, mountains, the Appalachian Trail runs up through here, the Shenandoah Valley. Um, oh, that's very good. Yeah. Great place. Hey, listen, we'll have you on again soon, Stan. So thank you so much for being on and be safe and keep in touch, okay? My pleasure. Look forward to it. Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, folks, really a stand up guy and got great information. We certainly enjoy having him on. So. We'll be having him on again very, very shortly because he's got some great stuff. We'll be right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, uh, for some reason, I don't know how to do this, but we'll get up here for a second. I uh, thank Stan Harley for being on. Folks, I see something very similar to the negative interest rates going on right now. I'm probably 100% wrong, but you know, I've been 100% wrong before. But the good part of this, folks, I'm never 200% wrong. It's only 100% and it stops there. And I'm gonna share it with you tomorrow. It may work, it may not, but boy, I look at this, I said, my God, 
This is as clear as anything on my face that I can see. When and two and a half years ago, when Mitchell was five years old, that's uh, Sarah's. He was he's uh, nine now, so that was three years ago. He, uh, uh, I gave him a hundred dollars for his birthday on uh, June the twelfth. Uh, okay, and uh, I said, look, I'm going to take this hundred dollars and I'm going to keep it for you. It's your hundred dollars, but you're going to have to pay me one dollar a week so that I keep it for you. He says, why would I do that? He says, I can keep it myself and not pay you a dollar. I said, yes, but I'm going to keep it for you. Well, where are you going to keep it? I said, I don't keep it in my pocket. He said, how will I know I get it back? He said, I don't know if you're going to get it back or not. He says, I think I would rather keep it in my pocket than in your pocket. That way I always have it. And folks, that was the end of negative interest rates. Once people started to think that way, that was it. And folks, I see it again, and I see it as clear as a bell. And I've got some uh, examples of it. May or may not work. But if I'm right, it's going to be a flat-out shock. <laughs> and I was going to do it today. I'm glad that uh, Stan didn't have a – or Stan was on the show so that I didn't have to do it. And Earl was nice enough to call in. So it kept me from doing it. I'm not going to tell you which market it is because I don't want to make a bigger fool of myself than sometimes that I do. But I don't stay a fool for long. I get out of the trades. But, you know, these markets are acting uh, negative. Uh, and I'm just telling you that just be real careful in here, folks. We could have an outlier event come in here that would say, oh, my God, this is why the market's going down. And then the door to get out ain't going to be open. 877-927-6648. Mike Moore tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Building wealth trading in the stock